Hello, it's Rod with Pilgrim's Journey. Uh, <laughs> welcome back, everybody. All right, so I haven't seen you for a few days. Um, real quick update. Uh, we had, once I got the first coat of gray Interlux uh, 2000 on the boat, which would be our final barrier coat, as I was going back inspecting all of the hulls, I noticed there was some really tiny pinholes that I had to go back and fix. So guess what? My boat has the measles. So let me show you something here. Hang on. Okay, so as you look down the boat here, you'll notice there's a lot of little patches. So what I had to do is I had to go back and I had to fill each of these little pinholes and so to fix everything. So that was um, about two days ago. So I had to fix all of these little places. So these are all of the repairs. So it really does have the measles. So um, so now what I'm doing, I've just put two coats of clear over my repairs and I'm getting ready to do a final coat of the gray. And if you'll notice, we've also removed all of the, the old teak rub rail has all come off. So I've taken all of that off and so we'll start to repair these areas prep the holes for paint and so you can see that all came off so we had about four bolts that were stripped I had to go get a bolt extractor strip all of those and uh, so it's all repaired so now we'll start making repairs to the holes once I get this paint on this afternoon I'm getting ready to take killer dog for a walk <laughs> like I said I'm getting ready to take killer puppy for a walk um, I'm going to wipe down the boat with some acetone and get these holes prepped, put the final coat of gray on, and then we'll move to the rudders. We'll get those repaired, but we'll start doing these repairs to the tops of the boat. So we'll start working up above this, uh, the water line here. We'll pull the tape, we'll retape the bottom, and then we're going to blend in up and through all of this area through here. We'll blend this with some epoxy uh, into the bottom barrier. So that way we'll have a solid barrier coat on the entire boat. So um, it's a lot of work. I ended up with seven coats of epoxy and barrier coat on the bottom. So and then we're, I'm going to use a Seahawk Tropic Coat. For, which is a multi-year uh, hard paint for the bottom since we're going to be going through the Caribbean and uh, so that will be our next step but that'll be absolutely last after I do all of these repairs to the hulls so ending this these next episodes once we can get this closed up today we're going to start doing hull repairs and we'll start giving you something different to look at all right so thanks a lot we'll see you guys bye